has finished the Tour de France. Well, he's finished the route. Three days ahead of the professionals, Quinton Field Bowden from Annick in Northumberland has cycled all 2,200 miles just for fun. The 52-year-old started the Rotterdam to Paris stretch by himself three days ahead of the actual races. He's one of the oldest people ever to do it. And a short time ago, Richard Solkeld found out what it feels like to just have completed the route. It felt absolutely brilliant. I mean, there's an enormous amount of traffic there, but it's uh, riding up the Champs Elysees on the uh, on the cobbles. Uh, you can. I was able to block out the traffic and just think and concentrate on the fact that this was the finish line. And to see the Arc de Triomphe uh, up ahead of me um, was a very, very special moment in my life. It's something I've uh, dreamt about and planned for for a long time. And I think if you if you put an awful lot into something, you tend to get an awful lot out of it at the end if you're successful. So I would, um, based on my experience, certainly, I would, uh, I would ask people to, uh, to have big dreams and to, and to try and live them, if at all possible. <laughs> what made you want to do it? So I think a lot of people think uh, you know, it would be fantastic to ride it, but not many people actually tackle it. I wanted to do it basically to see whether I could. We can see a map of, of some of the routes uh, that you will have taken. I mean, how, do, how does that compare to perhaps some of the training that you've done back home in Northumberland? Um, obviously, particularly the Alpine and Pyrenean stage is very different. I mean, a lot of the stages anyway are very long. They range from anything up to, up to about 140 miles. It is, it's not just surviving each stage, but it's being able to carry on and do the same thing day after day after day uh, without actually grinding to a halt. So what kind of problems or challenges did you face on the route? The, the biggest uh, problem, I think, which couldn't, well, couldn't really be predicted in its intensity was the, was the temperature. Almost every day it's been 30 degrees or above, up to uh, 34, 36 degrees, so very, very hot for, for, for uphill cycling. And um, that's meant that I've been drinking anything up to um, 8, 9, 10 litres of um, of fluids a day. Um, so I feel, I feel fantastic and surprisingly surprisingly good. Well, and Quentin, apparently he celebrated his birthday when he was on the roost and celebrated with a bottle of water. Oh. I bet he's having better weather than us. Let's find out what our forecast is now with Philippa Thompson.